y'all. It's Sarah Beth, the DIY Animal Doctor here. And today I want to talk about being sustainable during these times right now and getting started with your own small vegetable garden. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell to receive notifications when I post the next video and hit the thumbs up button if you like this video too. Thanks for watching. So I wanted to start a vegetable garden this year. I've had one in the past, but I haven't done one in several years um, because I was recently pregnant and had my son. And so a bunch of different things come up, but especially during this time with everything that's going on in the world, I want to be more sustainable and limit my trips into town. And I don't have much money. Um, so this is going to be with tools that you most likely have hanging around your farm or your home and using just a lot of your strength and energy that you have. So I decided to start off with a very small plot for right now. I do plan on um, expanding on it, but right now I have about a six by eight area, maybe like 10 by 10, maybe a little bit bigger. But what I've done is I'm doing the double digging method, which you literally uses shovels and, um, pretty much just a shovel, I'm gonna be honest, and just a lot of work. And if you have compost and hay and mulch of some type and stuff like that. Um, but the method came from a French man in the early 1900s, a gardener, and it's been used for a very long time. It works, it's a proven method if you are on a budget. So let me just show you what I'm doing here. As you can see, it's, it's not huge. Um, this first bed right here is about three feet wide by seven feet long. And I'm gonna plant my potatoes in here. And then this little one back here is about two feet by seven feet. And I was gonna put kale back here. And these are just ones that I can start early right now um, while it's still not incredibly warm out. But what I did is I double digged. I literally just got in there with a shovel and I dug it down once the length of the spade. And then again, twice the length of the spade. And then I worked the soil and you can see there's that sod on top. All that grass got cut off um, because you want to make sure you can get those off so it doesn't grow into your soil and your vegetables aren't competing with it. But then the second batch of soil that I dug out, I worked it really good. And you can see it doesn't have any weeds or anything like that. So that's going back in the holes. And then the potatoes will be probably about six inches, planted six inches down from this. And then I've got... A bunch of hay right here it's gonna go over the top of the potatoes as mulch and in between the pass and cardboard and such like that oh yeah and if you actually have a pitchfork that works really good too to work the soil just really tools that you probably already have so literally like a shovel a wheelbarrow a pitchfork and if you have one of these kind of fork things and then also over here i've got a bunch of compost um this is from my horses this is decaying horse manure and hay and it works great as a compost and fertilizer to feed your vegetables um, for your garden and there's tons of earthworms in there y'all can see just it's like really great stuff and if y'all have started on any garden or any project of yourself i'd like to hear about what you're starting on to be more sustainable down in the comments that's what i'm doing right now i do plan on expanding it I will keep you updated with how it's going. I already have my kale seeds started. They already, they're already popping up. I planted a bunch of different things, but I do plan on expanding out a little bit more. But I hope y'all during this time are thinking about being more sustainable and limiting your trips to the store and not really having to rely 100% solely on store-bought products and stuff like that. Um, I think it makes you feel good just knowing that um, you've been able to do something to provide for your family. I hope y'all enjoyed this and thanks for subscribing. Till next time y'all, bye. Chevy, are you taking a cool off? I know, it's hot in the sun, isn't it? My little helper. Thomas, are you taking a siesta? Are you taking a siesta? Nice and breezy. Hi, Callie. This is the new rescue. She's so sweet. Hi, Kelly.